All right, so this is episode three of coding using HTML. Now, this is where the coding starts and happens, right? Where the magic happens. Now, if you never watched those two videos I did, please go watch it because the most important one was the last video because I showed you how to set up a web server. So we got a web server running here right now, which we're going to be using in coding. Also, I showed you how to download this app and so on. But now what we want to concentrate on is the structure of the HTML and this is arguably the most important, right? If you don't have a structure in your HTML, it won't work. Literally, it won't work. Now, there's a couple steps for you to do a structure of an HTML. But I'll go through them each one by one. But once you're in your coding sheet that I like to call this, right? So this is a coding sheet. I can, you know, I can code over here. I can write code. What's the first thing you may ask to do? Well, it's called a declaration. Now, you may be telling yourself, like, what's this declaration? Is this declaration of independence or what's not? No. In fact, this tells you what code you're writing. Think about you as a programmer. If your friend comes and wants to see your code, how must he know what type of code you wrote? I can write, I don't know, I can write Zizu code, Mungu code, Zebra code, Dinosaur code, Giraffe code. By the way, these codes don't exist. I'm just making it up. But you see what I'm saying? So to specify that this you're writing is HTML code, we're going to do a declaration. And the way this declaration works is this. You go like that. Now you put an exclamation mark. And you go in capital letters, doc type, okay? And then leave a space, small letters, HTML, and closing arrow. Now, this is a declaration, okay? Now, doc type, HTML, right? Perfect. Now, you're going to go to this next line. Once you go to this next line, I want you to write ahead. Now, you see how I made this over here? It's all for reason. In fact, this will help you actually picture this. Now, the first thing which you need to write here is HTML. So, you can leave a line if you want to make it, you know, nice. But all you have to do, and now we're all writing small letters, okay? HTML, right, perfect. But can you see over here there's one HTML, but right by the legs is another HTML. So, I want you to go right down. Now, after your code, you can write this, but like, my code won't be long now because I'm just teaching the structure, so I can just put it over here. HTML. But I want you to see something, right? This is wrong here, right? Because when you write an opening tag of like HTML, what you do the last of that same tag is called a closing tag. And there will be a difference in the closing tag. Why? Because over here in between this arrow and H, they should be that. Now, you might be thinking, what is that? That's a slash. Is it a slash? But, but basically, yeah, it's a slash. No, is it a, yeah, it's a slash. Now, this thing turned yellow. In, so, like, if you click this and it turns yellow, it means you're good. It means you have an opening tag and a closing tag, right? Just for your information. Now, this is perfect, right? Now, whatever you write in between these two tags, it is, is your HTML. So, you see how this beauty is like making like you know you see what i mean whatever you write in the middle is your html whatever you write your outside won't make like it, the code won't work okay now the next thing you need to write is body so leave a line you don't have to leave a line okay body and close and what i told you you have to have another body right and this body also has to have a closing body remember you put a slash body and let's test it out. Does it turn yellow? A hundred percent. So whatever, now this body, body itself without these arrows is called an element. Okay. So when you have an opening element, you must have a closing element. These are all main elements. So an opening, they must have a closing, right? These are very common. You might have elements where you only need an opening. That's like line breaks when you rule a line, but that's like only like two or three, which will, we'll come to that in other videos, right? But right now, these main ones need an opening and a closing. So we done with the body. Now, wait, wait, wait. We're supposed to do head second. But no, no problem. We just did body the third step. Doesn't matter. We just put it more down. So the first one actually is supposed to be head. But it doesn't really matter, right? So let's do it. So um, head. 
and then as you guess it should have a closing tag um, slash head so you see how I'm formatting this um, this code all right yellow perfect so head head body body and then where's our HTML HTML is over here poor thing is right down alone we'll put it on top one on it um, it doesn't matter the way you lay it out as long as HTML is there and HTML is right at the end and as long as head you got a closing head and body the closing body basically whatever you write in the middle of the head will be in the head now I might be thinking where's the head now if I now we're done with this so let's go out right so this is my web server now if you never watched my previous video I've basically show you how to install this app with the server basically it's literally me creating a website now this code will work on this right now just to show you what happened if I activate this code what will my website look like so always now when using notepad plus plus with this one whatever code you do you have to first save this and then refresh now two ways to do it you can press ctrl s at the same time on your laptop or you can just go here to save press it so the code is saved and second step refresh and as you can see this is literally a blank website and it makes sense why is it a blank website right because at the end of the day there's nothing in the head nothing in the body nothing okay but in the head what's the head you may ask you see this over here naming the website is called a head literally can you see the shape of a head and it goes down this is the whole body can you see so literally I mean you can literally see this is a head okay but this head over here I want you to write title and most probably everywhere you will get this in between a head will always come a title right so let's see title and I told you eh? make sure you spell it correctly otherwise it won't work title and then again a closing title so like a bracket so you see you get the pattern of what I mean and this will work with most of the stuff yeah? perfect and then let's see we tap yellow perfect now whatever you type in between the title is going to be a title for example let's see what title we can give it let's say skill spark skill spark okay and then i told you press save press refresh look at that it named this thing skill spark so you see so that how to do a whole head so literally right now i just showed you how to do a whole head in html that's the head is very very simple right body is very very interesting so whatever i write in a body will be in a body now the body is a whole white piece of paper here um whatever i write in the body will be there right you can add bold writing bold font rule lines color lines color the background all these are css right but we'll get to that videos but this is simple what i mean now i want to just want you to see what I what happens if you just write something up let's write how are you and let's run it and see what happens right let's see so it's written there how are you but what's the difference between this how are you and if I do a P now a P is a paragraph if you have guessed it so you might think what is a paragraph and why is it important why is it different from this this just this without the p well let's save and see so you can see how it went more down so when you just write anywhere in the body without using this p it's going to literally write from left to right like in your notebook in your school book or whatever but because you're writing in a paragraph it literally writes everything in this as a paragraph for example how are you is a paragraph let's do a next paragraph right let's say another paragraph and let's say I am good um, this should be on a next line when you do it because as we said okay let's run it this hopefully is in the next line otherwise you did the code wrong perfect you see so if you never have the paragraph check what happens I want you to see what happens if we never have these paragraph tags so any time on a paragraph that's how you do it right put p and closing p and put everything in the middle let's see if we never have it what will happen what thing will happen there we go see so you're literally writing everything on the same line so you can't do that okay now let's say you want this in point form 
point form. It's L. Um, L E, if I'm not mistaken. L. Um, wait, let me just test it out. Yeah. L I, I think. Yeah. L I. Should be in point form. L I. Uh, let me just check. Right. I'll see now. L I. And let's run the code. And there we go. It works. Right. So L I basically means point form, right? So one second, let me save this thing now. Let's see. Yeah, so you can see L I and in between those L I's you got R and it makes a point over here and R. Let's see if we want to add another point, right? L I and remember we write something. Let's write um Lid. and then we close it with the closing tag of li so remember that bracket let's save let's run and there we go li lid and like you can just keep on going putting points and putting points right now this is html right now let's say if we want now these are points right let's see if we want bold writing bold all we do is b which stands for bold and let's see subscribe subscribe and let's see there we go um let me see something i'm missing b yeah perfect save and run hmm let's see what's happening now let's save and run there we go subscribe is in bold if i want in italics instead of b i put i so instead of B, I put I for italics. And then let's see what will happen to subscribe. Let's see. It goes to italics. And if I don't want in italics, if I want to underline, you just put U. So we just put U. And there should be an underline. Let's see. There we go. Underline. So you see how bodies, everything got to do with putting words, changing the words, bold writing, underlining. If I want to rule a rhyme, that and all that, right? Now, let's see a break feature. Break feature is very nice. So, like, let's see if you say subscribe. And let's say you want cribe to be below subs. So, all you do, all you do, literally all you do. Now, BR is an exception to the rule, right? There is no closing tag. So, you don't have to put a, no, wait, break. I'm sure you don't have to put a closing tag. Wait, we'll see if we um save this and run. Yes, I'm correct. BR, there's no reason to put a closing tag, right? You can just put BR and that means subs and cribe will be one below each other, right? And then I put another BR over here. And then I can just put good. And this good will be below cribe over here, right? So let's save this and test it out. Good. So you see, so that's where already did now the bold feature, the underlined feature, the italics feature, the break feature. What other features? I mean, there's tons, right? We're going to do it as we go along. But this is the basics of showing you the structure of how it works, right? Remember, where's my painting of my, you know, superb painting? There we go. Remember, don't forget, declaration is number one. Number two, put your HTML as your opening, HTML as your closing. Where's my HTML as your closing over here? Now, let's see if this weren't here, right? This HTML. Let's see what will happen, right? So, let's run. Let's go to the website. Let's refresh. It still works, right? Now, it will still work because at the end of the day, it will work, right? But if you put this live in a browser, it might not work. So if you remove this HTML also, let's see what's going to happen. Still works, okay? Let's remove this. Let's see. This head. If you spell it incorrectly. Let's see. Okay, it'll still work. But, if you remove it, can you see it's messes up? But basically in the browser, it'll mess it up completely. So, your structure has to be 100% right. So, that's the basic structure of HTML. Make sure you like, subscribe, and um, follow for more because we're going to be interesting now. Going to CSS where we change the background colors, the wording, all that. Remember, HTML is nice, okay? But CSS is even better. You can change more stuff in a website and create a whole website, right? So this is the structure of HTML and see you soon.